Katrina Pearson is the national spokesperson for the Donald Trump campaign and joins us now. Uh, Katrina, I want to follow up on one of the points that Jacob was just making. Yes, Donald Trump was asked about this, but why is this a topic or a line of attack that Donald Trump feels is effective against Ted Cruz? Well, I don't think it was really a line of attack. I mean, as you heard in Mr. Trump's comments, he was talking about the ridiculousness and the absurdities, and we didn't hear the actual comments that came from Senator Cruz's father. Um, this wasn't unlikened to, uh, you know, the, the earth is going to fall apart and the destruction of America if you support Donald Trump. And this is on the cusp of Senator Cruz himself just yesterday saying that, there was evil, and he wanted the voters of Indiana to stop the evil, calling Trump voters evil for crying out loud, not to mention the other reports that Senator Cruz was anointed by God to lead the country, and, and he was going to fulfill some sort of Mormon prophecy. Mr. Trump was just pointing out all of these ridiculous things that we've heard that have been hovering over the Cruz campaign. So you're seeing he's just pointing out r r radical statements? Because there's also this separate issue of this, of this conspiracy theory from the National Enquirer. Why, well, yes, why get on that bandwagon? Well, I mean, the, again, he was being asked about Senator Cruz's father individually because of the statements that he had been making about Donald Trump, and he's responded. Again, Mr. Trump has gone through tens of millions of dollars of attack ads, 55,000 attack ads, by the way, and the second he responds, it makes headlines. And I understand that it, it seemed odd, but in the context of the anointing by God and fulfilling the prophecy and Donald Trump voters are evil, including the millions of evangelicals that are supporting him in the South, he just said this is ridiculous and it's absurd. Well, Donald Trump has made plenty of statements calling other people ridiculous and absurd. So I think we should we should obviously point that out, Katrina. I want to ask you though, about these other conspiracy theories because it's not the first time that Donald Trump has touted a conspiracy theory. We cannot forget his claims about Muslims dancing in the streets of New Jersey after 9/11. Claims which were widely disproven. Also, the fact about getting behind the birther movement when it comes to President Obama, saying that he's a Muslim, that he's that he's not a Christian. Even speculation about how Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia died. Donald Trump is now a man who is the Republican frontrunner. He is running for arguably what many people see as the most important job, not just in this country, but in many ways in the world. So when he is putting his name out there on both the domestic and the international stage, should he not be more careful and do perhaps more research? Well, I think it depends on the issue with regards to the birth certificate. Remember, there wasn't one, and someone had to force that issue out there. I mean, we still haven't seen Barack Obama's records from college, but yet there's all these demands on other candidates to do the same. So a lot of what happens with Donald Trump is he brings these issues to the front to push this information out where the media fails in many cases, like the one I just mentioned. Uh, but again, this was just in the context of the comments that Senator Cruz's father had made against Donald Trump and the similar things that we've heard over the last few months of the absurdities that are hovering over the cruise campaign. We are out of time. We'll have to leave it there. Katrina Pearson, appreciate your time today. Thank you. Great to be here. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.